So do you have the rest of the gang on the phone too, or is it just you? It's just me today. We uh, got off a red eye flight, and uh, I was like, I'll give this patient a call. <laughs> so you're the one that drew the small straw, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Something like that. Well, hey, I appreciate you, uh, first off, taking time, especially after a busy travel day, to talk to us this morning. Great talking to you, too. Thanks for your time. You are very welcome. And uh, so you're coming to Turning Stone. The band Perry is going to be in uh, concert tomorrow night at the Turning Stone. Tickets are still available. You can get them at turningstone.com. Now, Neil, I have a couple questions. Now, uh, being part of a group with uh, family members, do you guys ever play any sort of pranks or any sort of crazy shenanigans out on the road? I sort of feel like just being with each other, you know, we... We aggravate each other sometimes. We do all these silly things towards each other. I think that it's sort of like a constant prank. But like as far as like putting saran wrap over the toilet seat, not as much that kind of stuff. Although if any of us would do that, it'd probably be me. There you go. So you're the troublemaker then, right? Yes, I am. <laughs> proudly, I am the troublemaker. So again, being a family band, how did that all come about? Was it like a Partridge family type of gathering? Or you guys just started playing together? Or was it, uh, you know, like a family member's idea? Like, hey, you guys would be perfect in a band together. Uh, it was it was pretty, you know, um, natural, I guess, is the best way to put it. You know, the way it all came about. We all took piano growing up. I think, like, pretty much every... American kid had to take piano. That was us. And eventually, Kimberly, uh, while she was in high school, she had some friends who were in a band who needed a lead singer. So she was like, okay, I'll do it. Reed and I saw how much fun that she was having with her band. And uh, so we pulled together some of our our middle school and buddies. And, you know, eventually we both were in bands. And <laughs> eventually Kimberly's band left for whatever reason, reason mine did. And it was just the three of us. So we were like, all right. Let's do that. I can imagine the other members of both those bands now are thinking, man, if only we stuck with these guys. Oh, (laughs) (laughs) I appreciate that. Uh, So uh, another thing, too, is you guys love country music, obviously, but you love a variety of music. So especially you, Neil, what are some of your favorite uh, artists other than you guys listening to your own songs? What are some of your favorite artists you like to jam to? I will say uh, Sam Hunt is one of my favorite artists out right now. You know, I think he does a really great job of, of melding, you know, country with honestly a little bit of hip hop, which is pretty, really exciting. There's this new uh, girl, her name's Daya, but she's really cool too. She has a really like soulful voice and I love her right now too, she's great. And when you guys are out in concert, I'm guessing you must play covers sometimes, right? Oh yeah. What are some of your favorite covers you love performing in concert? I'll tell you one that's become pretty much a staple at the at a Van Perry show is the uh, is our cover of Fat Bottom Girls. <laughs> we've, we've done that at our shows now for going on almost seven years now. And I'm guessing it's going to be a must-have uh, come tomorrow night then, right? Yes, it will. It, we will definitely be playing that one. And uh, while out on tour, what would you say, Neil, are some of your favorite tour foods that you like to binge eat if you're out on tours or anything special that you're like, I got to have this in certain cities? So if we are doing festival affairs, funnel cakes, of course. And plain. Don't do any of the fancy stuff. Just give me powdered sugar on top of a plain funnel cake. We're in Portland, Voodoo Donut. There's this new place there. They say that's really good called like Blue Star Donut. So I need to try that one. Dude, I know my regions and I know which food's great. So I could probably have a TV show about it. Beautiful. Beautiful. You'd be like uh, Trisha Yearwood. You could be on Food Network and have your own show then, right? (laughs) Exactly. Exactly. Well, then a must-have is when you're at Turning Stone, their bakery there, they have the most amazing half moons. Like in New York City, they have these things that they call them, you know, like the white and black cookies. They're not even comparable. Uh-huh. These things are delicious. You will love them, and you will have to add them to your list of uh, your rider list. Half moons, you'll love them. Half moons. I'm definitely going to have to try that. Perfect. Well, you can check out the band, Perry, on, uh, tomorrow night at the Turning Stone. Uh, Neil, thank you so much for your time this morning. Great talking to you. Thanks for your time.